Surprise. Loads of people out there will be like, well, I drink every night. It's not an issue. How do you know if it's an issue? We spoke about this briefly before we started. <laughs> How do you know if drinking's an oh, issue? You know what? I think I, I think there are lots of little signs that... So yeah. For a start, I think if you drink a lot by yourself, then it's an issue because... You know, if, if you if you're drinking for social lubrication, you know, you're going out with your mates. That's one thing. If it's <clears> like <throat> self medication, yeah, uh, drinking by yourself <clears throat> to sort of take the edge off. That sort of mm. that's when it starts becoming slightly worrying. If you ever find yourself googling, "Am I an alcoholic?" <laughs> did you do that? Loads. <laughs> yeah. Loads. I did that for about ten years. Yeah. Um, and and you know what? I, I discovered I was asking myself the wrong question because I spent ages trying to work out was I an alcoholic, and actually. You know, it's a red herring. You know, the what you should be asking is, is alcohol messing with my life? Yes. And if I'd asked that question, I think mm. I would have done something about it a lot earlier. But I got hung up on this. Oh, if I'm not an alcoholic, I don't have to stop drinking. And if I am an alcoholic, I do. And I didn't know how to find out whether I was one or not. It was sort of, mm. yeah. So so that's that's a bit of a red flag, I would say. Yeah. Um, and then I think drinking to, to get rid of a hangover is another... Another red flag, you know, mm. because if people people who don't have an issue with alcohol, you know, have a hangover and think I'm never drinking again. If you do have an issue with alcohol, you have a hangover and you think, oh, the only thing that's going to get rid of this is another drink. Wow, yeah, <laughs> you know? that was me. Yeah, that was me. Um, you know, Monday to f- Monday, it's weird our habits, isn't it, and how we justify them because mm. Monday to maybe Wednesday or well, I'd, I'd, or Thursday and Friday, yeah, I, I mean, I'd get pissed, but. I wouldn't drink in a day, but if I'd had a heavy session on a on a Friday night and I woke up Saturday, I'd be like, it's the weekend, I'm drinking it all day through mm, it. Mm. I'm drinking through it. Um I think when I when I think when I ask myself um how what what defines whether yeah. I've got a problem with alcohol, I always or because I get a lot of messages on my Instagram and my inbox and people, you know, message me saying, Oh, I don't know, and da 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 or I enjoy a drink, or even even with the drugs, cocaine, mm. I get a lot of people because a lot of my content was based around I've got a lot of characters based around I've got like a Sesh Gremlin, which is like a character that appears when the weekends come and he's like, Let's do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think you actually talk about something very similar in your book. Yeah, I talk about the wine witch. The yeah, wine yeah, witch. Just, uh, exactly. <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. It's like uh yeah, it's we all have them. Yeah, yours is I can visualize yeah, like right there. Yeah, it's Go like on. a witch with, <laughs> yeah. with two bottles of Lambrini or saying yeah no probably not Lambrini sorry uh, yeah sorry sorry um, I think that's partly why they call it spirits because you're you know you're spirited there's almost something visiting you. see he don't say much but yeah. when he does wow yeah, get a ca- get, put a camera on you come on come on there he is oh. yeah, look, look, yeah he looks like a gremlin the beer uh, bottle yeah. yeah but um yeah, and I think um, I think you know when people ask me, you know, even people even say to me, oh, I, ju- I still do cocaine, I still do drugs, you know, just mm. at the weekends and stuff like that. And I think to myself, it's very simple. It's very simple. If if alcohol or drugs, and this is this is, I had to really think this to myself, you know, if alcohol and drugs are affecting your mental health or your life mm. or your relationships in a negative way, yeah, uh, yet you still do it, yeah, then you have a problem. Yeah, and yeah. I could more or less put my finger on alcohol being the main alcohol and drugs being the main source of all of my issues in my life. Mm, Um, You know, being a shit dad, arguing with my wife, um, messing up work Mm. or opportunities, looking like shit, feeling like shit. Yeah. Same. It was, it was, it was, I I tell you something that, that I, I tell people as well is um, when you, you know when you're addicted to something, whether it's alcohol or anything, actually, when it takes up too much space in your head. So, so you know, I got to the point before I quit where even when I wasn't drinking, I was thinking about drinking. Mm. So I was thinking, when am I going to have the next drink? What am I going to drink? Have I got enough drink in the cupboard? Maybe I shouldn't drink today. Maybe I should leave it till tomorrow. Maybe I'll just have one drink. You know, I mean, it was just yeah. this constant sort of narrative in my yeah. head, which just, A, took up like way too much space and and also was just exhausting you know mm. it was really sort of um and you know the best thing about quitting is that voice goes away mm. you know people who don't have an issue with alcohol don't think about it when they're not drinking you know mm. so they'll go out and think oh maybe i'll have a drink and they have a drink and then they don't think about it anymore yeah know? So that's you know I wasn't I wasn't that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. Me neither. I can't remember the last time I was that person. It was probably about ten years. No, ten years before I quit. So. Yeah, I think um, I think for me, like now being sober again, I'm I'm fairly new to hundred and something days, but 
being sober, like when I talk to my to people, I mean, a lot of my friends I don't see really anymore. It's very strange. And mm. there's a, quite a few people in my life. It's, I think it's different for men because men Is have... Is that the, because they find it difficult that you are <clears throat> drinking or you find it difficult that they haven't? I think it's maybe neither of those things. I think it's more the only thing we had in common was drinking. Okay, yeah. Uh, with yeah. The, I'm not saying with all my friends. I'm saying with some of them, they still check in on me. I still talk to them. But some of them, like, the only thing we really enjoyed doing together was getting smashed. Mm. Um, so if we're not doing that, it's like I think there was a period at first where they were like oh we still invite him to the pub do you want to come and I'm like well not really because like it's like that and people say people say look you can still go there and drink an alcohol free beer and do it. but the only reason I was sat in a pub was to get smashed mm -hmm. I don't want to be away from my kids it, I, I, in fact for the first time in my life I think I don't I, I genuinely don't want to be away from yeah, my kids yeah. and my wife. Whereas, as hard as harsh as it does seem, I used to think, "Fucking hell, I need a break from these lot. I need a break yeah, from this house. Yeah, same, I need same. a break." And but, but really, I think what that voice was saying is, "Let's go drink." Yeah, you know. Um, and <clears throat> I get a lot of people ask ask me, um, "What do you do now?" And and the the crazy thing is, I found that I have so much free, like you said, space in my mind mm. and free time. Mm. Like I do have a lot of free time and my free time is not spent now anxious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>